In this video, I'll show you how to change out the transfer case fluid in a Honda Ridgeline. When I'm jacking out my Ridgeline, there's two places I like to, to jack from and then put uh, jack stands in on the side. On the front, there's a subframe in front of the engine, um, and I'll use my jack to pick up there, and then I'll pick up on the back at the trailer hitch um, and lift the back with that and get jack stands underneath um, on all four lift points that are on the side. Uh, those lift points are marked with a little arrow on the, the trim panel at the bottom, um, so you'll be able to see them. I'm gonna jack up the front end. I put a scrap of wood on here, just so I don't have metal to metal contact and that's scraping the paint off. As you go under the truck, you'll go under the oil pan, it says engine oil on it. To the other side, like under the driver's seat, you'll see the transmission here. So that you got a front frame rail transmission. The, the back of it is the um, transfer case from the front axle to the rear axle. The fill plug is here the drain plug is here uh, it holds about half a quart of fluid um, I'll put a link in the description of this video to the fluid you need then also to these uh, crush washers that go under here those are one-time use so you want to replace those um, after you take this out so uh, the procedure is I'm gonna open this up uh, drain it and then uh, close this and then fill from this side. I'll use a it's basically a big syringe with a flexible hose on the end I'll put a link in the description of the video to that as well And I'll use that to inject fluid back in until it starts to run out when it runs out. That means it's full uh, make sure that your car is um, sitting on level ground when you're doing this I have mine jacked up with uh, jack stands and all four uh, lift points by the wheels so that it's level um, you don't want to have this at an angle when you're filling it otherwise you'll get the wrong level and that can uh, damage your transfer case which would be a very expensive thing to replace so um, I'll show you how to remove everything I've got a oil drain pan here to catch everything um, when you're reinstalling these it's 35 foot pounds use a torque wrench don't over tighten it or you'll over crush the uh, the metal gasket on these I have my dream pan in place. I've got a 3 8 drive. It's a square, uh, like a 3 8 ratchet. I'm going to put that in and then use a breaker bar to break this loose. You can see this has gotten darker. It should be like a honey motor oil kind of color. Uh, this has definitely gotten darker over time. This is about 45,000 miles of use on this fluid. Um, not as dark as I thought it might be, but certainly ready for a change. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and crack open the fill port. This is the fill plug. Here's the metal gasket on it. You want to lift that off. If you over tighten, these are going to get compressed in the threads and they won't come off. Sometimes you need to spin them a little bit to get them off. Uh, again, these are a 20 millimeter size. Check the description of the video for replacement part. I'm going to go ahead and put a new, new one on. This is the uh, drain plug. The metal gasket stayed stuck to the transfer gase. So I'm just going to take it off of there and I'll put the new, new one on. See it's basically stopped running so I'm going to put this on and tighten it up. I've got my torque wrench set to 35 foot pounds.
So that pop means it's properly torqued. And now it's time to refill. To refill, we're gonna use Honda Hypoid Gear Oil. Um, again, I'll put a link in the description of this uh, video for this part. Uh, make sure you get the right stuff. I'm using the OEM Honda Fluids. I'm gonna fill my big metal syringe here. Stick, stick the hose in. And then draw out the handle. I'm gonna get watch till I get about half a quart in. Looks about like this holds about a quarter of a quart, so I'll need to do it twice. Uh, there are also pump attachments that you can buy to put on these. Um, you do have to pump quite a few times to, to fill something up like this. It basically looks like a soap pump. And then push the rod in to flow the oil. And we're going to watch until oil starts to flow out. All right, we got it full. Let's see, put a little more in to double check. And it's full. Put the rest of the oil back in. And reinstall this plug. And now I'll tighten the 35 foot pounds. Then I can lower this off the jack stands and it's ready to go. If you found this video helpful, hit, hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel. You can ask your questions in the comments field below and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. And be sure to check out my other videos on things you can do with your ridgeline.